I remember six months before I was arrested, I made the comment of, I don't need God in my life, I'm doing just fine on my own. And he showed me how much I truly needed him, and I'm thankful for that opportunity. It's amazing, the faith within prison. And coming to followers of Christ, I saw that same strength and brotherhood and relying on one another to keep that relationship within Christ. Followers of Christ is a worshiping congregation inside the Nebraska State Penitentiary where we hold word and sacrament, do pastoral care for the inmates, do baptisms just like they would on the outside. We sing the same kind of songs, follow the lectionary. The first time I went there, I hadn't had communion for over a year. I felt God's forgiveness more than I ever did in my whole life. And it really set me free, so I kept on coming. I know God had forgiven me for what I had done before, but it didn't really hit me. I condemned myself a lot for what I did before, and it just hit me that God forgave me. I'm your father, you're my son, and I love you no matter what you've done, and I forgive you for what you've done. And I just felt like I, there was nothing separating me and God anymore. And it was a, just a, a feeling of thankfulness, joy, unspeakable joy. A huge part of the ministry is that we bring in volunteers from the outside to come in, to worship with them, to shake hands. It's, it's a powerful experience of grace. This cannot support itself. We are totally dependent on the support of not only the churches in the Nebraska Synod, but from churchwide. This is where it really helps. When you wonder where your money goes, this is one of those ministries where it pays off. We are there to let them know that they are still part of the church. Barbed wire, metal doors cannot separate them from the church. It is through the love of Christ that we're able to grow together. It's, it's not inmate, it's not free person, it's not correctional officer, it's not pastor. It's followers of Christ.